second guessing yourself sometimes. You know, when you when you when you you're you're in the middle of a situation, you're going, man, should I, you know, should I have done this or should I have done that? You know, you you go, you look back over things and you have a claim where, you know, it. You just didn't feel good about it. I don't know what it is. You'll have one claim. You're sitting there working on it. You wrote it. You're looking at it. And you're just going, and this ain't right. You just you just feel like you're missing something. You can't pick what it is, and you but you turn it in, and you will wake up in the middle of the night, literally wake up in the middle of the night and go, oh, I forgot the fascia. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's just exactly. like that, and then you can't go to sleep. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Adjuster Pro. Use code Adjuster TV at checkout and get licensed right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. Because you realize you forgot it. And so then you try to drink, wake, you know, you're like, well, I'll, I'll deal with it in the morning. Well, you can't get it in the morning because now you're awake. And so then you go and you, you know, try to get to it to make sure it hasn't been reviewed yet, you know, and make the changes before, you know, real, it's, yeah. it's just... Those that happens, I'm not gonna say it happens every day, but I guarantee you a couple of times a month, you know, I'll have that one claim and it just eats at me. Or what could have been done different on it? And then you do it, you know, and then, yeah. um, that just second guessing yourself and, and knowing that something wasn't right, or then you know, you, you might have thought you did something wrong on a claim and then nothing was ever wrong. It's, it's, we talk about never saying no, okay. Um, that is sometimes you you say no and you regret it okay there's been a couple of times that i said no um and that was only and, and the only reason why i said no was because i was already i had made a commitment to another company and i had just showed up i'm running daily so it really doesn't matter anyway but i said hey look i'll go out there and help you out and run dailies for a while and then right after that, another company calls me and wants to deploy me. And it was a company who I'd just come off deployment with a couple of months before, or not even a month before, have a great, great relationship with them. And I said, no, you know, and that manager still has not talked to me. <laughs> uh, he had to return my text messages, phone calls or anything. And I'm like, oh, man, that guy's mad. Wow. But, you know, it, it uh, you know, this, you feel like. You know, just the feeling you get when I said no, man, I, and I regretted saying no about it. And everything worked out for the best. I mean, I ended up making great money where I was and 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 uh, had a good time and, and helped a lot of people. But it, it I, I hate that part of this job is whenever I have to say no, and I'm already on something. That's, that's really what I'm getting at. So you're in the middle of doing something. You committed to something because, remember, you don't say no. I always say that you say yes. I mean, you don't sit there and go. I think one of the worst things you see people do sometimes is that they'll get a call for a deployment and it may not be the carrier that they want to work with and they want to hold out. Okay. And I even saw this as a manager. They want to hold out for another company because this is the company they really want to work with. Yeah. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't materialize. Then they're calling you back going, Hey, is that still available? You know? Right. And so, but you know, so, so yeah, you regret that you said no on that one, but then there's times where you say yes, even though it's not really what you, who you want to work with, the firm you want to work with, or the or the carrier you want to work with, and not even an hour later, man, you get the phone call for the gravy client. You know, <laughs> and you're like, well, I just yeah, committed. Yeah. I just committed. You know, and you, if you, if you want to get, if you want to shoot yourself in the foot, say yes to a deployment, and then call them back an hour later and tell them, oh, sorry, I'm not going. Yeah, no, you will. That you lead will. balloon. <laughs> I have I have seen some people do that, but some, those are the those are the downsides of this business. Is which when it gets busy, when do you say yes and when do you say no? And yeah. I, I just for me, it's worked out to always just say yes and and run when you. It, 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 it's like the saying goes, you don't leave fish to find fish. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer. Head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.